Coach, what, what was the difference uh, between the two halves, you think, in your opinion? I mean, overall, we felt that we executed at an extremely high level in the first half. Um, from a shooting standpoint, we were up 22 to 10 on them on shots. Um, ground ball war we won in that first half, and I think the biggest swing in that second half was just looking at that stat specifically. I and mean, we ended up losing the GP battle, you know, pretty significantly. Um, Faceoffs played into that as well. Um, you know, and again, just from a shooting standpoint, you know, needed to be as efficient as we possibly could, but not too much different. It was just a matter of execution from the first half to the second. What did you see differently? Defensively, from them in the second half, felt like number one, number ten, just got a whole lot more looks in the second half. Yeah, I mean, we got exposed off ball a little bit. I mean, you know, at, at times we kind of veered from the game plan with what we were looking to do with those guys. And, you know, I mean, we know that they can do a great job throwing skip passes and throwing over top of the defense. And um, they kind of stuck to what they were doing. I don't think there was too much different on their end. They just executed at a higher level. And, you know, again, we needed to do a little bit better of a job of just sticking with the game plan there. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877-797-8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. And early on, I kind of felt like you attacked from X and found a lot of success there. Was that something you guys saw on film? Yeah, it was. I mean, we wanted to go at the two-man game a lot. Um, basically, what we had said going in from an offensive standpoint was we were going to try to get our quick opportunities when they did give up number advantages. And then once we settled into 6v6, we wanted to slow things down and attack the two-man game either from up top or behind. And, you know, we had the success from behind early, so we kind of ran with that a little bit more than doing it from up top. You guys just interrupt our player reps uh, since I didn't get a chance to throw that out there. Or is Zach Bryan, senior defenseman, and Jimmy Perkins, Richard Jr., attack? Yeah, what was working defensively for you guys in the first half? Uh, the first half, I just thought we were clicking. You know, we went on a run for a bit, and that kind of relaxes the defense and the offense does work. Uh, we didn't play much defense, and then going into the second half, uh, they got more <coughs> possessions in, in that first half, which really killed us, and then... Brother Zach or Jimmy, the last week and a half or so has probably been a pretty wild fight for you guys. What, what do you kind of take away from the experience of making a tournament and the, the, the ups and the slight down here at the end? Um, I mean, it's definitely been an, an awesome ride. I mean, the, the worst part is not it's just not getting to be with his family anymore. We had such a close group of guys, and, and it's been a special season, that's for sure. So. Really, just these last two weeks, having had school, just been trying to enjoy every moment and and, uh, and soak it all in. But haven't really had too much time to step back and reflect because uh, we just kind of had that move forward attitude and, and keep facing the next challenge. But uh, yeah, it's been it's been a fun ride. I'm sure we'll we'll take a, some time to, to reflect on it soon. I'd like to piggyback off that if I can for Coach. Um, I know it's always been a professional and a personal ambition for you to get to coach in May Madness. Today, you got to do it. Just. What was it like to be here and have your family here and get to live that dream? Yeah, it means, I mean, to have my family here, I mean, that means everything to me. So, um, you know, my wife and daughter certainly put in as much effort as we do um, to, to be on the road with us. So um, to have these experiences and share them with them is, you know, is pretty awesome. Um, and, and, you know, as far as, you know, the team goes, it's just, you know, we, we say it all the time. I mean, as coaches, we get to do this for a long time. You know, for these guys, when you're playing, you only get four years to try to do it. So just so proud of the work that they've put in. I mean, they've earned every ounce of success that they've had this year. So um, just pretty special to see the work pay off for guys that I think are certainly very deserving of success. So it's more more about the work that these guys have put in throughout the year. And, and a follow-up question. Speaking specifically <coughs> to the, the success you had at the beginning of today's game, uh, what were some of the things you think led to that success? Yeah, I mean, we went in with a, a pretty simple game plan, and, you know, the guys have done a great job at the end of the season, especially just with really executing what we challenge them with um, as far as the game plans are, are concerned. And, you know, we put a lot on them in a short period of time to be able to take that information and then go out on the field and execute it. So um, today defensively, I mean, obviously we know we needed to stop number one and ten. and. Um, did a good job of really keeping the ball out of their sticks in the first half by, by you know, dominating the possession game a little bit more. Um, offensively, like we said, we want to keep it simple with getting our transition looks and then also really working the two-man game as much as we could. So 
Um, they did a great job of executing that and just fell short in that second half. And uh, Jimmy, same question. Just what impressed you the most about the way the team came out today? Um, I mean, we, we kind of just continued to treat it like any other game. I think that's, that's been the, the strong point of the season and, and the core value that we possess as a program is not treating it any different. And today, I think coming out off the start, we didn't let the nerves or anything get the best of us, just treat it like any other day and it came off fine. Coach McMahon, to uh, speak to the season that you guys had first time in the NCAA tournament, NEC champions, do you feel like this was like a banner year for the program? Yeah, I mean, on paper, I think it's certainly been noted as one. Um, again, kind of the <coughs> this point, haven't really had much time to step back and reflect on that stuff yet because up until now, we've been geared towards doing what we have to do next. So, um, you know, we'll probably take some time to, to step away and, you know, and, and reflect. And, you know, I think we'll certainly have a lot of pride in the work that these guys put in throughout the year. But, um, you know, up until this point, we've been more geared towards what we have to do next to execute to, to put our team in the best position to be successful. Zach, from what you were able to tell in that third quarter, what was the biggest difference just working around Connor Kelly? It seemed like he was able to find that a little bit more frequently than he did in that first half. Uh, yeah, I mean, just give credit where credit's due. He's a good player. Um, in that first half, I thought, I thought we were shutting him down a bit. And then uh, he started moving more offensively off ball. And he, he was finding lanes, just getting open for that time room shot. And um, that's how you ended up getting the ball in the back of the net. I don't know if you buy into moral victories, but how much encouragement can you take that you had the number one seed on the ropes? Yeah, I mean, that's what we had said to these guys. Is that anytime you go into a situation like this, there's obviously a little bit of a, a question mark of kind of the way that things are going to go. And you know, that's what we said in the locker room after the game is these guys certainly proved themselves that they can compete with the best. You know, and, and made the comment specifically that you know people probably thought the team that came out of this game, meaning Maryland, um, would, would end up going on to compete for the national championship again and for us to be in the position that that could have been us to knock them off today and, and you know kind of take their seed moving forward mm -hmm. you know just hats off to these guys and, and the work that they've done to be in this position. For the players when you guys got up near the end of the second half your fans were behind you your people were rocking can you talk about your fan base and what that that felt like coming on the road with most than busloads of fans? Yeah, having those fans is huge. It, it definitely helps with the momentum swing. Um, just getting that, like, just getting a goal or a big play, just having that root behind us brings energy through the sideline. Sideline energy brings it throughout the field. So yeah. that definitely helps. Yeah, that was awesome. Just just having the family and the alumni base, and, and Coach pointed to it after the game about um, just the alumni and the support we've had from them throughout this process. It's been awesome because those guys have kind of paved the way before us. Um, we wouldn't be here without those guys, so it was awesome to have them here and, and supporting us. Jimmy and Zach, a lot of people felt as though you guys should not have been in the playoff game. They thought that I was wrong and it should have been another team. Did you guys come into this game with an extra chip on your shoulder, feeling that you had something to prove, or just treat it as any other game? I mean, initially we were a little surprised. Um, not going to lie, a little bit surprised there. And, and that first game, I think we more so took that out on Wednesday. Uh, kind of played with a little chip on your shoulder, but after, after that, we kind of just took it like any other day. Try not to elevate the situation, and that's what kept us uh, pretty even keel going into today. I have one for Zach. Uh, just the, the entire country has been talking about how well this team plays defense, and it was even more so today when the outcome of the game was still uh, in doubt. Just uh, your thoughts on working with uh, this group at that position this year, and uh, how you guys were able to measure up uh, over the course of a long season. Yeah, it's been awesome. I've been playing with Zach Christensen since freshman year and then uh, Will Ewing since his freshman, so my sophomore year. So a lot of maturity throughout the years, um, just having those, th those two guys at the back end, just playing with them. Um, we've grown, we've matured throughout the years, and just that sense of chemistry is definitely growing. And uh, I know I can trust them as much as they trust me.